Among the great swath of Chapter 4 secret side quests and recruitable characters, few have seen more requests for a guide than the quest to find flirty shopkeep Deneb. As the series mascot and a very powerful mage, it's easy to see why. So today, we're going to go through all the steps to get not only Deneb, but her special class Witcha. Let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. I'm a small-time creator, working to make YouTube my full-time career, so if you find my content fun, entertaining, or educational, please subscribe. Thank you. Den of the Witcher is a character who you may randomly encounter on your journey through Tactics Ogre Reborn as soon as you enter Chapter 4. Read the Warren Report entry titled Deneb's Emporium, and you will now randomly find a Deneb shop replacing the normal shop at Towns and Castles. Deneb moves around the world map each day on a schedule, meaning you can randomly run into her if you're lucky. The schedule for when and where to find Deneb is on screen now. However, simply finding this plucky witcha is not enough to recruit her, let alone actually unlock her witcha class for use, and if it was, we probably wouldn't be doing this video right now. It's actually a much, much lengthier process. To start, you're going to need to recruit one of every type of dragon, including a hydra. So, that's one cloud, earth, water, ice, fire, electric, light, or arc, dark, and hydra for a total of nine dragons. If you're early enough in a run to start working on this early, I would recommend that you do so. If you're not, consider going to the Farampa Wildwood. The Field of Fallen Shadow, Scenic Knoll, and Land of the Supplicant stages all have plenty of dragons for you to recruit. However, you're not likely to find Hydras, Ark, or Dark Dragons here. You're going to want to get them from story battles, if at all possible, and if you can't, you're going to want to dive into the Fortress of Lazan, accessed as part of the Apocrypha side quest, the San Bronza Ruins, and the Palace of the Dead, respectively. These are all endgame dungeons, and will take quite a while to get to. Due to the long time requirements to access these late game dungeons, you will want to keep an eye out in story missions wherever you can, as I previously stated. Whether you're on your first run through the game or you're using the world system, you can find the rarest dragons even fairly early in the game. For example, on the Chaos Route, my preferred route, you can find an Arc and a Dark Dragon in the battle against Zapan at the Archaeopolis of Rhyme, and a Hydra at the end of Chapter 3 when battling Oz and Ozma. If you want to get Deneb as a Witcher as early as possible, this is going to be the best way to do it. Do note, though, that it's possible you could have the mark to change your dragon to a arc or dark dragon, which you can use on any other dragon, which will make your life a bit easier if you've picked one of these up somewhere. So, if you've beaten some of these rare dragons before, check your inventory, see if you have the mark to turn one of your other friendly dragons into one, save yourself some time, and of course, if you were not aware to do this, you will need a beast tamer with the tame dragons skill. Get them down. Low HP, flashing red, 10% HP. Have your Beast Tamer stand directly next to them for the best chance to try and recruit them. And if it doesn't work, use the Chariot system and keep attempting from different squares and taking different actions to change up the RNG before you try to tame them. You'll get them eventually. Obviously, the more Beast Tamers you have, the better, so you might be able to make a dedicated grind squad for this. So, just, if you've been recruiting characters, you know what to do. Regardless, once you've acquired all the dragons you need, auction them off at any shop. You'll get a fair bit of goth, and some delicious stat-boosting steaks should show up for purchase as well. The most important bit, however, is the elemental orbs you should now see available. Do not buy them yet. You must only buy these orbs at Deneb's shop, and then only after you've done a few other things, so just hold off for now. Also note that any other orbs you get, such as ones from mission rewards, do not count for the coming requirements. Before you're able to turn in those orbs, you need to hit up the Palace of the Dead. To do this, read the Warren Report entry, Mysterious Blast on Exeter, again in Chapter 4. This will unlock an entire chain of battles to the northwest of the map, which ends at the previously mentioned palace. Fight your way through until you get to POTD, and enter when you're ready. I do advise waiting until your union level is 36 so that you can handle the first 9 floors of enemies, unless you're very confident in your team and skills. Your mission? Acquire relics. 
as to unlock Denim's Witcher class, you need to upgrade relics three times at her shop. Relics are rare drops from certain enemies and are denoted by their kind of reddish, salmonish pink background coloring when you pick them up. The two relics you're likely to find in floors one through nine are Spark Guard Rings and Greased Rings. I went for Spark Guard Rings simply because it was the first one that I found. And keep in mind that since you need to upgrade relics three times, you actually need at least four of the same relic. Six if you're going for different relics, but try to shoot for one. It'll make your life a little easier. This will allow you to have one as the base, and then three that you need to combine into it for your three total combinations. I've linked the dungeon drop table that the community has been putting together so you can see exactly what enemies drop items to make the grind a little bit faster. This could take a while, but if you stay focused, you'll be done before you know it. Look for the specific enemies that drop the item you're looking for based on the chart that I've provided. You'll get there. Once you've got these four relics, it's time to finally hit up Deneb's shop. Get yourself ready for a fight, save in a separate slot in case something goes wrong, and track her down using, again, this table that I've got on screen. At Deneb's shop, the first step is to upgrade your relic. You'll want to select the relic that you're going to use as a base and note. These relics can have randomly generated stats, so there might be one that's better than the others. So just take a look through the stats, choose the one that you want to work with. Once that one has been selected as the base, repeat the process three times with the other relics, get it upgraded, you'll be good to go. Then, as I said, buy those orbs, try to leave and a scene will play out, and when prompted, select no, let's have it. After this quite charming little scene plays out, then it will join as a guest, and you'll see a new battle is available at Vask. I recommend equipping Deneb with some better gear, potentially putting a few XP charms into her to get her maxed out if you're at level 36, and then head into the battle. Also, make sure that you bring some Warlocks with you who have Recruit Golem. It'll be useful for a second. In the battle, you'll find the merry band of pumpkin-headed constructs that Deneb is responsible for, as well as their boss. Your mission is to keep Deneb alive while you defeat the boss, and if you're interested, recruit some of these pumpkins. Each one does have a unique name, and while mechanically they're no different than the pumpkins you'll be able to find in the Palace of the Dead, it is pretty cute to be able to get all of the various pumpkin-flavored dudes. Of particular note is Pumpkin Stopheles, who is actually the only character in the game who is allowed to break the character limit for names. So, if that's of interest to you, make sure you're able to keep Deneb's HP up while you work on recruiting them. Of course, as I mentioned, you can get generic pumpkin head golems in the Palace of the Dead, so you're not missing anything other than fun flavor names if you skip these, so whatever you want to do is fine. Either way, keep Deneb alive, defeat the boss. This could be somewhat troubling, as at least in my experience, the golems largely prefer to attack Deneb and the witch is rather reckless with how she throws herself into the fray. Do note that there are some mixed reports on whether you actually need to keep Deneb alive in this fight to recruit her as a witcha. Some folks have told me that you do, while others have said that they let her retreat and she still joined up as a witcha. At the end of the day, the only thing I know is what I did, and that's keep her alive. So, do what you're going to do. Assuming all has gone well, after the mission and associated scenes, Deneb should join as a witcha. But what do witches do? Why is it worth the effort to get this strange, flirtatious mage? Well, witcha is basically witch 2.0 with all the same abilities, plus a whole lot extra. This class can use nearly all types of magic, including the legendary Apocrypha, which I didn't realize at first, has very good stats, including RT, and gets some very powerful, unique abilities. These are, at least as far as any that I have unlocked, Stirring Kiss, which has a chance to inflict the enemy with Stop and Hobble, Witch's Smile, which is an auto skill that has a chance to charm all male units in range, and the Piece de la Resistance, Magic Time. An auto skill that grants Deneb Spellcraft and Spell Strike. This, of course, makes Deneb one of the most powerful damage dealers in the game and an excellent wielder of status magic. She doesn't need to equip Concentration, doesn't need to use Spirit Stone of the Stars, and she's likely to apply this to herself at the start of the fight, so she's just busted. She can equip all the normal mage gear as well as whips that deal good damage and inflict status effects. And Deneb even has a magically damaging basic attack that is free to use and has decent range, so she can even deal damage when she's out of MP. All told, 
She truly is a phenomenal unit, and it's well worth the effort to recruit her. She even comes with some cute little extra animations and exclusive voice lines. Unfortunately, and this is really the only downside to the character, Deneb is the only character who can be a Witcha, which, I mean, really, as far as downsides go, isn't too terrible, and from a gameplay balance perspe or perspective was probably a good idea. And that, my friends, is all there is to say about recruiting Deneb Rove. She's the mascot of Ogre Battle, she's an insanely powerful mage, and the more you look into her character, the more terrifying she becomes. If you know, you know. I wish you all the luck in recruiting her. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have other guides that you'd like to see, same thing. There's plenty more Tactics Ogre content to come, so thank you for all the support. Check out my Patreon if you're willing, and remember, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. Have a good night, stay safe and healthy out there, and remember, be good to each other. Bye now.